slip sill ceiling plugs are used for the fire safe and gas and watertight sealing of conduits carrying metal pipes. Installing the plug is extremely simple. The slip sill plugs can be installed in minutes and do not require any bolting or other mechanical outfitting. Slip sill plugs cause no mechanical stress and avoid corrosion problems, while the plugs can already be exposed to high pressure immediately after installation. The conduits should be ground out at both ends to prevent damage to the plugs during installation. In case the conduit isn't already ground out, this should be done on site before starting the installation. Of course, you can also use the special CSD conduit sleeves. All you need for installing the slip sill plug is CSD lubricant, a hammer and a piece of wood. First, the inner side of the conduit as well as the surface of the pipe should be lubricated thoroughly with CSD lubricant along a distance that approximately corresponds with the length of the ceiling plug. Next, both segments of the ceiling plug are lubricated inside and outside, including the connecting surfaces. Always use sufficient lubricant. This eases installation significantly. The segments of the slip sill plug are placed around the ducted pipe and then pushed into the conduit as far as the first serration. The first serration is smaller than the other serrations to allow positioning of the plug into the conduit. The slip sill sealing plug is then pushed by hand evenly, serration after serration, as far as possible into the conduit. The flanged edge of the sealing plug must be flush against the front side of the conduit. After installing the plug, remove any extra lubricant with a dry cloth. To ensure optimum tightness, the proper selection of the plug has to be based on the inner diameter of the conduit sleeve and the outer diameter of the ducted pipe. The plug size is visible on the flange of the plug. The flange has a unique design and is clearly marked with the CSD and slip sill logos. For ultimate fire safe and watertight penetrations, the slip sill ceiling plug should be installed on both sides of the conduit. Make sure the conduit is ground out to avoid damage to the plug during installation and remove any dirt, oil residues or welding spots from the conduit sleeve and surface of the service pipe. Next, lubricate the inner surface of the conduit as well as the inner surface of the plug parts, the outer surface and the connecting surfaces with CSD lubricant. Both segments of the slip sill plug are placed around the ducted pipe and then pushed into the conduit as far as the first serration. Both halves are then pushed evenly, serration after serration, further into the conduit. This can be done by hand or by using a hammer and a piece of wood. When installing the second plug, the air between both plugs will be compressed. Therefore, it has to be released from time to time by inserting a screwdriver between both plug halves. Otherwise, it won't be possible to insert the second plug completely into the conduit sleeve. Make sure the plug isn't damaged when inserting the screwdriver, as this can have consequences for the final tightness. When the installation is completed, the flanged edge of the ceiling plug must be flush against the front side of the conduit. Any extra lubricant can be removed using a dry cloth. 